in the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful. Dear audience, this is Dr. Khuram Shahzad. I intend to give you a brief introduction about Islam. Islam is a word which is coming from Salam, an Arabic word. It means peace. If it is read Silm with diacritic Zair, then it means submission. Submission to Allah Almighty. Submission to God. And we can also interpret it like this. Peace will come to a person when he or she submits his or her will to God Almighty. So it means that Islam is a religion of peace. It is a religion which demands from its followers submission to Allah Almighty, submission to the will of God Almighty. If we talk about the pillars of Islam, the very first thing that we come across is the concept of Shahada. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. I bear witness that there is no god but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah. It means that there is none worthy of worship except Allah, except God. And Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. So when somebody declares this, he or she enters the fold of Islam. And Islam emphasizes the concept of oneness of Allah. Islam believes that whosoever as a messenger came before Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, all of them were Muslims because all of them were asking the followers that you should believe in one God. There is no God, but only Allah. There is no God, but only one God. And if you believe in him, then you enter the fold of Islam. So if we talk about the other prophets, whether it is Jesus, Moses, No, Ibrahim, all the prophets, they talk about only one God. And all of them were asking their followers that you should believe in Allah, you should believe in God, and you should believe in whatever he is asking you to do. Islam is a religion of simplicity, reason, and practicality. It is not a difficult religion. It is not a new religion. It is the religion of all the prophets who came before Prophet Muhammad, the seal of prophets. Dear audience, when we talk about the pillars of Islam, if we read chapter 2, verse 177, please listen to its recitation. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Laisal birra anta wallu wajuhakum kibal al mashriki wal maghrib walakin al birra man amana billahi wal yawmil akhir. It is not righteousness that you turn your faces towards east or west, but it is righteousness to believe in Allah and the last day and the angels and the book and the messengers to spend of your substance out of love for him, for your kin, for orphans, for the needy, for the wayfarer, for those who ask. Allah Almighty is asking from its followers that you should believe in the books, not the book, not the Holy Quran only, but the books which were revealed to the other prophets before the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. You should believe in the angels. And you should do good deeds. So Islam emphasizes good deeds. Islam emphasizes oneness of Allah Almighty. You must have read or listened to the recitation of the chapter. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kul huwallahu ahad Allahu samad. Say he is Allah the one. Allah is eternal and absolute. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakullahu kufuwan ahad. None was born of him and he was born of none. And there is none like him. Allah Almighty is explaining 
his attributes that god is one who does not bear children god is one who is not begotten so if somebody is creating god and then worshiping that god that is not a true god how can we worship the idols how can we associate someone with god almighty god almighty is the sustainer is the forgiver is the compassionate is the merciful and he is the only one we cannot associate anyone with god almighty and that was the teaching of all the prophets who came before prophet muhammad peace be upon him bismillahir rahmanir rahim ان الله لا يغفر ان يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء truly it is only associating others with allah in his divinity that allah does not forgive and forgives anything besides that to whomsoever he wills the second pillar of islam is prayer we all are ordained ordered to establish prayer prayer helps us to generate relationship with god almighty the relationship between a muslim and allah is very important and is made more unique by praying directly to him without any intercessor so we are commanded that we should offer five times daily and in this way we create our relationship with god almighty we supplicate we prostrate we show our humility in front of allah almighty and only human beings are asked to prostrate in front of allah almighty and no one else allah almighty says in chapter 2 bismillahir rahmanir rahim hafizu ala salawati was salawatil wusta wa qumu lillahi kanitin observe the five obligatory prayers especially the middle one and stand in true devotion to allah the third pillar of islam is obligatory zakat zakat or zakat it means charity but i have talked about obligatory charity it means we differentiate between optional charity and obligatory charity so obligatory charity is compulsory on all human beings on all followers of islam who have got lot of wealth allah almighty asks us to look after poor people bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa aqimus salata wa atuz zakata war ka'u mar raqin establish prayer pay alms tax and bow down with those who bow down those who are less fortunate than ourselves we should give them 2.5% of the accumulated wealth and this is given to the poor people the needy and the stranded travelers dear audience we should remember islam is a complete code of life it just does not talk about worship it talks about faith it talks about worship it talks about affairs it talks about economic system it talks about private life it talks about how to put on clothes it talks about how to take bath it talks about how to walk it talks about how to talk it gives guidance to humanity in all aspects of life that is why it is a complete code of life it is not just talking about your private life it is talking about your financial life as well Islam believes in haram and halal Islam creates a distinction between haram which is unlawful and halal which is lawful so we human beings need to know what is halal and what is right so we are supposed to do only righteous deed in this world because this is just a passage we will have to die one day and then we will be presented in front of god almighty where we will be answerable to him answerable to whatever we have done in this world this is just a metaphor is used in the holy quran it is a field shakespeare also talks about all the world is a stage so this is a stage where we are performing our actions where we are performing our jobs if we perform them according to the will of allah almighty we will be given heaven if we are not performing according to will of allah almighty we will be thrown in hell 
these are the ideas that allah almighty generates and talks about in his discourse that is the holy quran it is one of the books that allah almighty has revealed and it is the last book that allah almighty revealed on the holy prophet peace be upon him the seal of prophets the fourth pillar of islam is psalm fasting allah almighty says oh you believe you are required to fast as people before you they were asked to fast so that you should learn self restraint so in psalm in fasting again we create our relationship with god almighty allahir rahman rahim ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba alal ladhina min qablikum la allakum tattaqun o you who have believed decreed upon you is fasting as it was decreed upon those before you that you may become right these are some of the acts of you know worship but it does not mean that the other acts that you are doing in life they are not part of your worship if you put on the right shoes first it is also an act of worship if you enter the house you put the right foot first it is also an act of worship and allah almighty will bless you som according to the lunar calendar the ninth month of islam ramazan it is obligatory for all muslims to observe fast allah commands us to fast in order to seek his pleasure and in doing so we raise our level of spirituality trying to get closer to allah almighty The last pillar of Islam is Hajj. In English, usually it is called pilgrimage, visit to the house of Allah, and then performing special acts which are ordained by the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Bismillahi rahman rahim. Wa azin fi nasi bil Hajj. Ya tu karijalam wa ala kulli damirin. Yatina min kulli fajin amik, and proclaim to mankind the Hajj. They will come to you on foot on every lean camel. They will come from every deep and distant mountain highway. Hajj is a time when Muslims from all over the world they gather together, without any difference of race, class, and color. They put on two pieces of unsewn clothes. and then they present themselves in front of allah almighty hajj is carried out in the remembrance of hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam and hazrat ismail alaihi salam and after that sacrifice is carried out and meat is distributed among the needy and the poor dear audience in this short video i have given you a brief introduction of islam I have talked about five pillars of Islam. Thank you very much.